happening? We are at Universal. Are you buzzing? So I still have a fairly croaky throat today, so we might keep the talking to a bit of a minimal. Um, but we're here with Logan, who's in the buggy. Uh, we took a lift with our transportable car seat. Um, so we're just looking for that entrance now, hoping we can find the big lockers that you can pay for to keep our car seat in for the day so we don't have to haul it around. Um, and then we're gonna hit up Potter, do lots of general wandering today, or maybe a bit of rider swap. We're just gonna go find our way now. <laughs> British football game going on in the background. Premier League. Premier League. Who's it? Liverpool versus Chelsea. Chelsea. And there are like so many people here for the game. And I'm very confused. We're not football fans as it is. Um, but I didn't know there were so many people in the States keyed on UK football. So there we go. Anyway, we're off to Islands of Adventure. <laughs> I'm hoping we can go for dinner here later. I hear the desserts are incredible, but the burgers and things are good too. And look at it, it's crazy. It's like, as you said, Charlie the Chocolate Factory meets Steampunk. I love it. So we have just arrived. Um, we're off to the rentals area to try and find the lockers. And um, so when you come into Islands of Adventure, you go through the ticket booth and then you turn left and you'll see rentals. Um, walker rentals. Here we go. So this is where we're going. Credit only, so we need to use our card. You've got the card. Okay, so we have to scan the barcode for a park ticket and then put this in. Locker one open. open. Oh. Okay, things might be tight. I don't think that's going to fit. So, our car seat was slightly too big for the large lockers, so we were told to leave it lost and found here. Um, now, what's a bit frustrating is you have to pay for your locker before it opens to see if it fits, um, which was $15, but they gave us a little card um, with a number to call to get a refund. So, we'll try and figure out how to do that without then ending up with US charges for a phone call. But they took it a lost and found, we just had to fill in a form and you need ID for collecting it. So make sure you have ID for it with you. But yeah, not the end of the world. And they said that they do it quite a bit, but you have to try the lockers first. So a bit stressful, but we're free now and we'll collect it at the end of the day. And here we are in Islands of Adventure. It's really pretty. It's nice. I feel like it has a bit of an Aladdin vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you see the fountains, Logan? Logan just loves all the fountains in the water this holiday. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, that's nice. Ooh. Ooh. This is cool, isn't it, Logan? So we're in Seuss land. This is basically Logan's land for the day. Oh, this. That's so cool. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. To the right, folks. Can you see what's in the distance? So this is very nice. We're definitely going to take Logan on some of these rides later. It's really colourful and wacky. And at the moment, it's pretty quiet. At the moment. Um, but first things first, we are heading to Potter. Because that's like 
50% of the reason we originally booked this trip. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so of fine wands since 382. Chestnuts, 13 inches long. Swishy. <laughs> the unicorn they are called. Let's turn and face the side wall. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Swishy. With a unicorn hair core. Try this. Wow. That's stunning. Wow. <laughs> Let's go to Honey Jakes. Just bought some butter beer. You want to try it first? Yeah, right. I don't know what to expect. We've had all. it. Well, I've had it from the studio tour and wasn't a fan. Is it nice? Yeah, actually. What's it like? It's like butter beer. That's kind of what I would expect butter beer to be. Mm, that's really nice. It's like a butterscotchy soft drink. It's really nice, like kind of fizzy. Yeah, fizzy, baby butter scotchy. It's really good. Yeah. Nice. Fizzy. So that was like eight dollars, nine dollars. Which is good. Yeah. You get at quite a lot. It's a decent size. Yeah, you get quite a lot more than you got of the blue milk. Nice. So 
were at Green Eggs and Ham and we got the buffalo chicken tots and the pizza tots. So we'll see how they are. Logan's right in there for the chicken. Yum. So what do you think of green eggs and ham from your tops? Very nice. So we specifically got the buffalo chicken ones and the pizza ones, <coughs> um, but there were like green eggs and ham and there was also hoo hash. Um, so some exciting things on the menu. Really yummy. It was like $11 or so per portion. Um, and there was quite a queue. We were a bit early for lunch um, and the queue looks even longer now. So definitely one not to do right at lunchtime, most likely. Um, yeah, it moved quite slowly. It did move quite slowly. Um, but really good. Um, I'm pretty full and we're ready for whatever is next. So we're going to do parent swap for a Velocicoaster. Dan's going to do the big queue while Logan sleeps and I walk him around and then I'll swap out. I am slightly terrified. I am not going to lie to you. Can you see the dinosaurs up there? What noise are they make? So Dan's been gone just under an hour now. Logan's up from his nap. Um, hopefully he'll be on in the next. 20 minutes or so and then I'll get to go on and um, so we are currently just looking at all the dinosaurs outside the lost coaster because Logan loves dinosaurs <laughs> right? you having the best time my throat I'm sorry guys <laughs> my god <laughs> that was intense <laughs> it was really good really good um i actually felt like i was gonna fall out though i'm assuming that's how you're meant to feel but i was sitting there for the first time in my life being like i'm so glad for my hips and my tummy right now or i would be out of this uh, but it was so good and um, they've got quite a cool locker system it's the first universal ride we done i don't know if it's all like that the ride itself was very intense. Really good though. I think it's probably the most intense roller coaster I've ridden. But all in all, Dan took about an hour and a half from when he went in to when he came out. And then it took me all in all by doing rider swap, going through it, and then coming out about half an hour. So it took us two hours in total, um, but that was doing rider swap. And so Dan basically had to ask for a rider swap ticket when he got to the locker part. We did chat to them before that too though, just to make sure we got it right in case that changes worth doing. Um, and then he gave me the ticket and uh, they scanned it a couple of times along the line. I was sent in a different line, wasn't the standard queue and it wasn't the single rider queue, it was another one. And um, so everyone in the queue was parents basically. Um, it was all pretty clear when we got there. So now I'm heading back to Hogsmeade to catch up with the boys. And I think we're going to try and ride the, Ho the Hogwarts Express uh, and go across to Universal Studios uh, and see all the Potter stuff there. I don't even know why. Logan! It's the same one, right? Logan! Hi! Mommy! <laughs> okay, I've already filmed my reaction, but because Dan's here, what did you think of it? It was so good. Yeah. That's a roller coaster. I was saying, I think that's the most intense roller coaster I've ever ridden. Yeah, yeah, me yeah. too, probably. The bit, not to give so spoilers, fast. but the bit by the water where you like to see the world around it's, oh my god, I thought I was gonna fall I like in. Going it was intense. I put my arms up about it. Wow. Yeah, Dan rode somehow. in the front row. I was row three. Dan was like, you should try and get the front row. I was like, well, I queued for like an hour and a half. I thought I may as well queue for a few minutes longer. Yeah. To get the front row. Yeah. 
Um, but it was really good. Anyway, we're at the castle. We're going to see if this little guy is in any sort of mood for pictures. <laughs> The Lakey Cauldron, that's in London. There's the night bus. I think it's through there. Wonder what's through here. Does you like it? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, this is so cool. Cheese plowmans. Yeah, you can use express on everything apart from Hagrid's and the Lost Coast dress. That's the real Ollivanders. That's what confused me, was oh, that wow, Ollivanders yeah. was, is meant to be in Diagon Alley, but they've got like the display show version is actually not here. They've got little girl versions of Hermione's dress and I'm greeting. I love the wizarding hats. Such a cool idea. I <laughs> love it. You look like a wizard. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I love that. So a little update, the queue for the Hogwarts Express was really long. Um, so we ended up just walking across to Diagon Alley. It's amazing here. Everybody's filming the dragon right now, so I feel like I should be doing the same. Okay, so I timed that really well. Um, everyone had their cameras up uh, to the dragon, so I put mine up too, and yeah. Now we're queuing at Florian Ford, excuse me, some ice cream. Logan is loving the dragon, aren't you? Ah, you enjoying the dragon? <laughs> Shall we go down Nocturne Alley? Why is it? Nocturne Alley. <laughs> oh, don't want nobody to see you there. That was very Irish. <laughs> People will think you're up to no good. It's still pretty Irish. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's happening. Oh, it's dark. Not lost, are you, my dear? Come with us. We'll help you find your way back. So I'm not trying to be critical, but if I'd say anything, Bearing in mind it is a Saturday, so it's very busy today. Um, but a lot of the shops, especially in Diagon Alley, don't really leave room for strollers. Um, it's quite tight to get around and a bit stressful, but we're managing. But I'm not seeing that much strollers, I guess. Universal's a little bit less. 
of the young family friendly um, in Disney. Yeah, just something to consider. A lot of people have the interactive wands that you can buy here, which I think if you were like between the ages of like 5 and 15 would be so much fun. Um, loads of people just like running around in robes like with the wands making things happen, which is pretty cool. It's just so pretty. The music really just gets to me. We're going to try and get to Weasley's Wizard Weezes now. It is packed. I actually don't know how we're going to get down the street. Look how busy it is. I don't even know how to move. There we go. to say we're quite pooped <laughs> this evening uh, my throat's still not great um, but we're pushing through and we've got very sore feet so we had a lovely wander around Diagon Alley and um, we're gonna be doing all the rides in a few days time I'll take you along I don't think you can film much on the rides at Universal um, but we'll take you along for the experience uh, on our next Universal Day. Uh, but for now, we are sitting outside uh, Toothsome's Chocolate Emporium. We've asked for a table, it's gonna be about a 40 minute wait. So we're just sitting outside. Logan's having a run around because that really helps. But before we go for a meal, if you're looking for tips for eating out with toddlers, let them run around before dinner, get the energy out, make them nice and hungry so that they'll actually sit and eat because it's been working quite well for us this holiday. Um, so that's what we're doing at the moment um, and I think depending on time we might get their amazing milkshakes which I'm sure you've seen on Instagram and then we'll get a Lyft or Uber home tonight. <laughs> so we've just ordered dessert from Toothsome's. We ordered the mint. So that's mint. That's mint uh, milkshake, which has a ice cream sandwich on top too. Yeah, they all have some sort of dessert on top. It's crazy big, so we're gonna give it a go. It's good, it's got like chunks of chocolate still in it. Oh, that's the best kind. Yeah, that's the best kind of. Sorry about this. Mm. Mint chocolate ice cream Oreo. Amazing. My tired boy. Logan. These are the people to ask, where are you visiting us from? New Hampshire. So <laughs> So we are just walking down City Walk. We are fairly pooped, aren't we? Um, ready for bed. So we're gonna go figure out where to catch a lift from. I'm presuming we're 
drop top. I'm not 100% sure, so we're gonna go and figure that out. We need to go home. I think we're gonna do a laundry again um, and put the wee man to bed and go to bed ourselves. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow for another day in Animal Kingdom. If we still have, you know, voices and feet that work. Night night. <laughs>